as you, Todoroki, and Aizawa were faced with Kirishima, all you were trying to think of was how to escape. Well, well, well. Todoroki, how dare you try and take my yin away? <laughs> oh, how fun this is gonna be. You think you can just take her away from me? Ha, impossible. She's mine, and only mine. <laughs> Kirishima continued laughing and yelling like a psychopath he is. Todoroki immediately put up a a swall as you used your telekinesis to lower all three of you down. Hurry, run, he's insane, yelled Aizawa to the cops. We, as we all ran, getting as far away as possible from the cabin, thankfully the paramedics who were with Bakugo and Saro had left. Not that, not that they would have been in great danger, but suddenly there was an explosion and there was a bright orange flames where the cabin was. All of you fell f from the sudden impact as you quickly got up, quickly ran as far as possible. Shit, he's catching up to us. I don't think I will be able to catch up. As, as you huffed, Todoroki quickly carried you bridal style as he ran soon. You and Todoroki separated from Aizawa. As Todoroki still carrying you, you turned your head and you saw Kirishima, but at the back, chasing after you like a manic. Oh, Todoroki, don't think you can run away with my pebble. Remember, she's mine, and only mine. As you and Todoroki lost sight of him, Todoroki quickly climbed a tree with you on his back. Both of you decided to rest there, hoping he won't find you. Still tired from all the running, you and Todoroki decided to catch your breath. Before he comes back, once both of you were able to breathe normally, you suddenly fell asleep. Well, let's just say your sleep got ruined by your horrifying boyfriend at this point, but can you even consider him as your boyfriend after he killed five people? Five? Wait, three. Yeah, he <laughs> Where are you, Yin? Come out, please. I want to see that adorable face of yours. He yells as you can see him walk away, f oh, walk by you. You and Todoroki immediately cover your mouths in order to... Make sure as little make sure to cover as little noise as possible. Ugh Pebble, please come out. I don't want you to be with that stupid Todoroki bastard, he said as he was walking around. You both were really trying hard not to make any noises until he leaves. Once you saw he left, you and Todoroki sighed in relief. <sighs> that was a close call. As you two sat there enjoying the peaceful bliss of the forest. Gotcha! You were grabbed by the waist by Kirishima. Apparently, he had climbed up the tree that you and Todoroki were in and had grabbed you as he squeezed you tightly. <laughs> I finally got you in my arms now, Pebble. Oh, how I missed you so much. As he continued to hug you and kiss you, you tried to escape his grasp. You knew what you were going doing was wrong. You had to escape from his grasp, but it was impossible. He was holding on to you so tightly. Now, now, Pebble, you can't escape from me. Now, especially when there are people trying to take you away from me. He said as he picked you up, bridal style, and headed over to some car. Huh? Never knew he had a car. It was a long ass. One looked more like a Lambo instead. Sheesh. Has he plopped? Oh, as he plopped you next to him. You know where to go, said Kirishima. As you looked up, you saw that Kirishima had a driver. Damn, never knew that he had these things. You continued to look out the window, wanting to face Kirishima, as you were unable to handle your thoughts, since you tend to feel worse from all every time you look at him and had to be unable to handle your emotions, since you felt that you were at fault when your friends died, the ride with you and Kirishima was silent. While you were looking out the window, you saw flashing red lights followed by cops yelling through the microphone. Oh, faster driver, <laughs> faster driver, <laughs> you slow ass motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, Kirishima was yelling at the driver while you covered your ears since the yelling was too loud for you to handle. I don't even know how we got this place in the first part, but okay. 
Once the yelling has stopped, you found yourself in Kirishima's arms. Hey, Pavel, I'm sorry about yelling earlier. As he cradled you into his arms. We're here, Pavel. Winky wakey, Kirishima said. Kirishima's POV. Oh, looks like my yin is asleep. I picked her up into my arms and brought her into a house that my dad bought. Well, since the house has not been used for years, I decided to use it as a hideout for me and my little pebble. As I placed her gently on the bed and tucked her in, I locked all the windows and doors so no one would be able to get in. The house is located far away from Mosutafu, in the deep forest, which is a good thing. Back to you. As I opened my eyes to see an unfamiliar surrounding. Huh? I remember clearly that I was in a limo with Kirishima, but somehow I ended up on a bed. As I sat up and took a better look at my surroundings, it was a plain, simple room. It had a table at the corner, and in the center, there was a coffee table and couch, surrounded it with soft and fluffy carpet underneath. Hey there, Pebble. How do you sleep? Kirishima said cheerfully while handing you a tray of your favorite food. It was good, but where are we? You asked. Oh, we're somewhere far away from UA storms. So nobody would find us. He said smiling as you sat there and slightly ate your food. As I ate food, as I ate my food, I felt a bunch of feelings. I felt as if I never betrayed my friends by dating. Oh, if I have betrayed my friends by dating Kirishima, even though he has killed five people. Two, actually, but okay. But even though he is a murderer, I still love him. I can't help but my heart feel still beats for him. What's the matter, Pebble? You don't like your food? He said as he looked at you. Uh, oh, no, the food is good. To be honest, the food was not bad. It was edible, at least. Then why do you seem so down? He asked. Oh, um, you know, just thinking. About what? His tone was different. It was more serious. Shit, I forgot he's a psycho that doesn't like it when his partner thinks about someone else besides him. Oh, um, I was thinking about you, you said, trying not to sound anything else besides happy. Oh, I was just thinking about you too, he said as he smiled. Once you finished your food, he took the tray and headed out of the room. After a short while, he came back with a set of pajamas. Hey, Pebble, it's getting late now. I think we should rest. He'll take this and shower and come back here, all right? He said, handing you a set of pajamas. As you headed into the shower, thinking about what you should do, knowing that your boyfriend is a fucking psychotic psycho, or should I say yonder, you know he won't let you go. Well, anyway, I guess I have to act normally around him. That won't be too hard since I still love him a lot. Once you were done, you changed into a new set of pajamas and placed your dirty clothes into the laundry basket. You stepped out of the shower to greet by Kirishima, hugging you. Pebble, you're finally done showering. You take forever in the shower. He winced as he kept hugging you. You then noticed that his hair was wet and his clothes had was changed. He was wearing a black tank top and red shorts. Come on, let's go cuddle and sleep. As he picked you up and placed you on the bed, he pulled you towards him. You snuggled your face into his chest as he kisses your head. Not gonna lie, you actually really loved this side of him. As you two lied on each other, you slowly drifted into sleep. Good night, Pebble. I love you. As he kisses your forehead. So I'm going to explain things because I think I figured it out, but I don't know for sure. But anyways, Kirishima killed five people. Uh, Sero, Denki, Bakugo, Uraka. It was five. Yeah, it was five, I think. No, it wasn't. That's four. But anyways. Uh, oh, a minute. I forgot. A minute. But anyways, um, Bakugo, he did dump Bakugo's body and got it back as some sort of like trophy. I don't know. But apparently Bakugo and Sero were alive somehow. And I don't know how, but yeah. Um, also, when he kidnaps you in this story i guess Todoroki was just knocked out cold i don't know that part still iffy but uh i hope that 
explain something to you but i do have a question for you guys i'm trying to if you guys remember yandere oni overhaul i think was the name but i'm trying to get where i can actually write it because one i don't like cliffhangers you guys probably don't like cliffhangers um but anyways i'm trying to get it where i can write it because uh i don't like cliffhangers and i have really good amazing stories for that but uh i i, I kind of um I, I know it's bad but like i really like him badly like uh like badly like really bad for me to like him but uh anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this sorry for my rambles it's like a minute but who cares you guys are the best i love you guys so much Mwah.